Good day, flight and space friends. It is me, HL My Tech, and today I'm going to take you into the Chromebook, and we are actually going to use a flight simulator. So, my friends, let's get cracking. All right, friends. So there will be a link in the description, but if you type GOFS, that is the flight simulator we are looking for. You can do this on your Chromebooks, which is amazing because they are really not built for being a flight simulator typically. But this one is so lightweight, it actually lets you complete it. So for this first one, we are just going to hit fly. If it asks you about cookies, you can tell it yes. I'm going to mute the sound so that you can hear me better. Make sure you're patient as you wait for your airplane to draw. It does take time for all these pieces to come in here. Uh, down here is that little speaker that I muted so that we could hear me over the engines. If you press the letter C, it gives a different cockpit view. So you can see now I am inside the airplane. But you should just keep tapping C until you get back to that view where you're behind the airplane because that is the best place to start learning how to fly in GOFS. All right, so P is pause. That's a good one to know. You're going to tap the arrow keys, not hold them. Plus and minus are the throttle, but you can also do the numbers 1 through 9. G is gear, B is brakes. So, let's take off. First, I'm going to press 9, so I've got full throttle. And then over here, we're watching for when it hits 60 knots. And... <laughs> Remember I said how we're just barely tapping the keys. Right there I'm at 40 knots, 50 knots, trying to stay on the runway. There comes 60 and it starts to lift. So you're pulling back with the down arrow to get it up in the air. And you're trying not to do much with the right and the left. So you can see here I'm sloped that way. So I'm going to tap the right arrow to try and get it back to flat. And I'm going to keep the brown horizon below so that I'm actually climbing so that I can get the aircraft so it's finally flat level and I can start to see the cool stuff I'm flying over. But the big key is to be gentle on your controls. There I finally got it up in the air. I'm losing a lot of speed because of how much I'm still climbing but I want to get up in the air so that it's flat. As you're flying, this is your horizon. Right now I'm letting mine go out of control. So you can see how you can lose it and you can crash. If you do crash, it just starts over. So I just turned on autopilot and it's bringing it back. That is something you can do. All I did was press the letter A. Now I'm going to shut off autopilot and I'm back in control. So if you're about to crash, that is a cool way to bring your plane back. I'm going to bank a little bit and pull back on the stick with the uh, down arrow key because I want to get back towards that land because that's where you can see the cool features. If you look right here, we're at almost a thousand feet. This seven shows us it's 700 feet. There are also other planes in the sky, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm not sure if the, your student Chromebooks will let you see that. Uh, that would be something cool. I'd love to see you write in the comments to let me know if you can see the other aircraft. And then I've also got videos that teach you how to fly other places. So your assignment today is to simply get your plane up in the air, get past 1,000 feet. So I want to see it on the other side of the one, so I start, have to still keep climbing. So you can hear me just tap, tap, tap. I'm climbing at a decent rate. There goes 600 feet. Once again, I'm looking right here for the feet. I want to fly at the mountains. So I'm going to try and keep it straight and level because when I want to get a screenshot, I want it to be of that. And then you can tell you're climbing because the brown line, which is the ground or the horizon, is below the blue line, which is the sky on your altimeter. 
I'd love to have you succeed without using the autopilot, but you can always hit that letter A and try and save yourself. So I'm at 900 feet. There goes a thousand feet, and then this is the magic moment, guys. With the horizon, hit P to pause. So now everything is frozen. You can prove that you're at a thousand feet. And then all I want you to do is hit control and that little window button. And it just saved a screenshot that you can turn in to prove that you got it up to that level. Alrighty, friends. So then your project is simply to get to GOFS using the link down below. Get that plane to a thousand feet, level it out, and pause, then get a screenshot so you can turn it into Google Classroom. Now, there are many other planes you can play with. I've got other videos that teach you how to fly cool places like the Grand Canyon. Those are optional today. All I want you to do is learn how to get it up in the air and make it fly. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.